Okay, good morning everybody. Sabah Al Khair from beautiful Amman. I'm now leaving this amazing Airbnb and heading to a car rental company because today we're all heading to Petra. Finally, after such a long time, I'm heading to this place and I can't wait. Okay, this is a car. This is 20 Jordanian or 25 Jordanian every day. We've got it for five days. Let's get to Petra. Just where it was needed. Okay, first evening here in Petra and look what I'm greeted with. This sunset is spectacular. In a couple of hours we're heading to the treasury to watch Petra at night. Three times a week they light up the whole area with candles and it's said to be one of the most beautiful things in Jordan so I'm very excited but first I'm gonna take this in. Wow. It's my second full day here in beautiful Jordan and today I'm exploring one of Jordan's most famous and iconic sites. I'm here in Petra just after sunrise and if all goes to plan we're going to hopefully wander through, see the treasury in the day. Last night we checked out Petra at night and it was mind blowing. And then hopefully we'll head up to the secret spot on the highest level to look down over the treasury and the area. I can't wait, let's head inside. So I'm walking through the really narrow canyon, which is called the Seek, and at the end of here, I will be able to see the beautiful treasury. Okay, we've just made it here to the beautiful treasury, discovered by a Swiss, a sneaky Swiss man who was exploring the area. He actually learned some Arabic to sneak in using the Bedouins, and he said he was gonna pray to Moses' brother, and then he discovered it and obviously told everyone. And look how beautiful this is. Okay, we're just at the top of the viewpoint. You can see the treasury behind me. This is incredible. If you're coming to Petra, definitely try and come up here with a local guide. You can have tea up here. Everyone's really nice. And you get this incredible view. So this treasury, not actually a treasury, many people think it's a treasury because many people think it used to have gold in it, but it never did. It's actually a mausoleum of the king that used to be here in Jordan. It was built by the Nabateens, which were very known for being robbers. So this was a very popular trade route and that's how they built such a grand place in such a desolate area here in Jordan. This is such a beautiful viewpoint. I recommend to everyone to come up here and check it out because it's incredible. You can see more people coming now. It's time to check out more of this incredible city. So all over Petra, there are beautiful carvings all over the place. And many of them are so beautiful, but also many of them are just holes and caves in the cliff and in the rocks and the ones that aren't decorated are where people actually used to live and the more decorated more beautiful carvings and the mausoleums are 
where people died and where people were buried. Many people back in the day were scared of death and their way of kind of dealing with their emotions and dealing with that uh, fear was building beautiful mausoleums with beautiful carvings and worshiping gods. And yeah, that's how they dealt with it. It's really beautiful here. Let's keep going. Okay everybody, welcome back to beautiful Petra. It's our first night here and every Monday, Wednesdays and Thursdays they have a light show and I can't wait to see it. So let's head inside and check it out. Okay, so I'm spending the last sunset here in Petra at the second Moven Peak here in Petra. You can see the incredible views behind me. We're gonna stay here for sunset and behind me is the Bedouin tent that we're gonna have some tea and snacks in. But look at this view. It's so epic and so beautiful. Wow. Okay, the sun is going down. Look at the views here. This is stunning. Probably one of the best hotels you can find here in Petra to get these incredible views. You can see for miles all across this landscape. The sunset is just hugging all of the beautiful mountains, cliffs. Wow, what a dream. <laughs> I came to Jordan really with a lot of expectation. I never really watched any videos on YouTube about Jordan. I only know a small amount about Jordan. I have some friends from here and everyone has recommended me to come. And little did I know, it's very quickly becoming one of the most beautiful countries I've ever been to. <laughs> These views are phenomenal. The people are incredible, the food is so good you guys know how much i love traveling for food and yeah i've been here for this is my third full day here in jordan and it's been three days of pure magic i can't wait for this journey to continue i have about another six days here in jordan a lot to do a lot to see and a lot more incredible people to meet so tomorrow I'm leaving, I'm driving down south, pretty close to the border with Saudi Arabia, to Wad I Rum. So, I'll leave you with these beautiful views and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Jordan, thank you for everything. <laughs>